Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm Kyle. Brian. Our project was to make a plasma globe out of everyday materials you can find at your, either at your house or your everyday convenience store. An ignition coil is basically a high voltage transformer made up of two coils of wire, a primary coil and a secondary coil. Okay, first you have your ordinary incandescent light bulb. Uh, in this case we have a 60 watt light bulb. Uh, this will be your acting and your plasma globe. You will also need a dimmer switch, which needs to be a 600 watt dimmer switch. And you can also find these at your Walmart. Another item you'll be needing is a, an, your average automotive ignition coil. You can get at any auto parts store. Next, we also need a set of capacitors. Uh, with ours, we have a one 680 microfarad capacitor and five 10 microfarad capacitors hooked up in series. Uh, you can find capacitors at Radio Shack or other places like that. Right, you also need a couple alligator clips, which can also be found at your radio show. You also need a power cord and some extra wire that you can also find at at a fleet farm or any other store. Okay, you also need a metal rod or nail, which you can find at your fleet farm. And to make our project a little easier, we used a light socket. First, take one of your alligator clips and connect it to the, one of the leads on your power supply. Take the same lead and connect it to your dimmer switch. Next, take another alligator clip and hook it up to your capacitors in series. With these capacitors, it adds up to two microfarads, uh, since when you hook capacitors in series, it reduces the capacitance. Next, take another alligator clip from the capacitors to the positive side of the ignition coil. Next step is to take your metal rod and put it in the high voltage output of your ignition coil and connect that to what you're connecting your light bulb to. So the purpose of the metal rod is to pull the current from out of the high voltage output from the positive and negative leads. Next, you take two of the alligator clips and connect them together and connect one of the ends to your negative part of your power supply. Next, you take the alligator clip hooked from the negative part of your power supply and hook it to the negative part of the ignition coil. Next, take your light bulb, and for us, we have our light bulb stand, and you only need to connect the wire to the side of the light bulb. Next, I took a wire and I stripped part of it and made a loop of bare wire to put around the light bulb. Connect that end to the other end of your negative. Next, you plug it in. Okay, the dimmer switch here is used to sync with the frequency from the AC power supply. It also helps because it's an added safety measure because you can turn it on and off with the plasma globe setup we have. Okay, with the extension cord, we hook it up directly to an outlet which uh, provides AC power. The nice thing about that is you don't need to worry about getting an AC adapter to make the plasma globe work. However, with our design, it is not safe to touch. As far as we know, we have not tried, and uh, I definitely recommend you not touching 